Hello, 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 and welcome back to Grown and Chic. This is Adija. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. We love having you here. If you are new to our channel, welcome. Please like, share, hit the subscribe button so that you'll be the first to know um, the notification bell. So you'll be the first to know whenever we drop a brand new video. I love having you guys here. Let's talk. So this, I was thinking about a video to do in my daughter's came up with this and they told me mommy if you could lose everything in your closet what are five things you couldn't leave without and i thought about it and i have a crazy closet i would admit that I, like i don't have the the most exclusive pieces but i love all of the pieces that i have in my closet so it took me time to go through my closet and to just find things that i think that i would cry if i lose them now, I'm one of those people that I fall into two categories. When I really like something, I either wear too much of it or I love it so much that I don't wear it. I just want it to stay brand new. So some of those things, for these things fall under the category and I'll tell you which one it is, okay? So my first thing is this burgundy fedora hat from GDP. I, I have a lot of fedora hats. I'm a hat person. I love hats. It's just a thing. But this particular one, the color is just rich. The shape of it is just everything. I love this hat so much. Like whenever I wear it, I feel like I'm that girl. I really, I really do feel. And then I have a blazer that's the exact same color of this that I got from Zara. It just makes me feel like that girl. It, this hat makes me feel like that girl. So this will be one of the things that I just, I will not be ready to give away. I got this from Gigi Peep about two years ago. And this falls under the category of one of the things that I love and I wear a lot. I wear this a lot, a lot with jeans, with dresses, with all kinds of stuff. I just find a way to squeeze in my burgundy fedora hat. So this is one of the things that I wouldn't want to get rid of. The second thing that I wouldn't want to get rid of is my favorite shoe in the world. I love this shoe. I, I don't know what to tell you. Now, most of the people in my life hate this shoe. Most of my friends hate this shoe. I love it. I love it. Like, I don't have any other words for I love it. I, in, in the summer, I pray for winter to come, so I wear it. So it's one of the shoes that I literally wear these shoes for three seasons. I wear it for spring, I wear it for fall, and I wear it for winter. I love this, these Bottega shoes. They are just, they are comfortable. As much as you, it looks like this is not too heavy and you can dress them up, you can dress them down. I like the fact that it's just a casual chic shoe. And this is really my style, casual chic. That's my vibe all the time. I think I will own this shoe forever. If I could get rid of all of my shoes and keep just this one, this will be the shoe I would keep. Talking about shoes, my Burberry dad sandals. Another shoe that most people in my life don't like, but I adore these shoes. I adore these shoes. Like. These are my summer go-tos. I like the fact that they're just, I like funky shoes, if you haven't noticed. So this is what it looks like. I love the shoes. Like imagine having fresh toenails, white, and then you wear these. It's just, to me, it's my style. It's my vibe. I, I would not get rid of this. I definitely would not get rid of this. I actually have two of these. I have one in black that I have worn that one a lot. But this one, I definitely, like, I, I love it so much. This color, it's orange is like one of my favorite colors. This is one of the things that I love so much that I don't use. By the way, this, um, the Bottega boots, it falls under the category of, I love it so much, I could wear it every day. These. But this is one of those that I love it so much, I want to just keep it brand new. I know I'm weird. Don't, don't judge me. So when I have an event in the house where people are coming, I'm entertaining, I would wear this. Look at it, it's still. But when I'm going outside, I don't want to wear it. When I'm going outside, I actually wear the black ones. This one in my favorite color, I just want to keep it brand new. I'm weird. The fourth is my Fendi first. Let me tell you, when this bag came out, you know the song that says, oh, I prayed for you. I prayed for this bag. I, <laughs> let me tell you, I prayed for this bag. I cried for this bag. It was, yeah. Lucky for me, I actually got it early when it just came out before the price hikes. 
thank God before because now I, I couldn't. I, I just couldn't. Um, I love it. It's one of those that I love so much. I have never used it. Yeah. It's one of those that I love so much that I have never used it. It still has the tag inside. It still has like all of the papers inside. I love it so much that I haven't like, I haven't permitted myself to use it out of my house. I love this bag. I prayed for this bag. I wanted this bag. It's one of those trends that just fell in my wheelhouse. I love, love, love this bag. I will not get rid of it for nothing. Fifth and final thing, I'm a perfume collector, so I have a lot of perfumes, but the one that I cannot leave without is Amoir Sunshine. This, this is such a beautiful, unique scent. It just, it's like literally sunshine in a bottle. I love Sunshine Woman. This is Sunshine Woman. I love Sunshine Man even more. It's one of those fragrances that just gives me life. I love this fragrance. I have over 200 fragrances. And so for me to tell you that this, this is she, this is she, this is the one. Like this is the one for me. I wouldn't get rid of this. So what are five things in your closet that you wouldn't get rid of? Do you have things that you're emotionally attached to? Because I feel like I have an emotional attachment to these things. So, um, oh, this one falls under the category of I love it and I'm scared to use it because I'm scared of running out of it because it's kind of pricey. So it falls under that category of I love it and I'm scared to use it. Um, so do you have things in your closet that you have and do you use it a lot or do you not use it? What category do you fall in? Do you like when you love something, do you wear it a lot or not? I hope you learned something from this video. I think this just tells you a little bit about me as a person. Um, I love you for watching. Bisous.